Mike Tyson famously said once, no, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. And I think that's true. For me, it's actually, the, the plan goes out the window even before that. When the first bell rings and you get that hit of adrenaline, it's so hard to think about anything. You can't, you can't plan, you can't scheme, you can't strategize when you're in the middle of a fight. Everything's happening so fast. And, and you know, a lot of times what can happen in those fights is if you haven't prepared well enough, you can get caught with something that you weren't expecting. And that's the most dangerous place to be, by the way, in a fight where you're not expecting something and you get caught with it, because those are the punches that hurt. I remember I had a fight as part of a tournament in Arizona, and the bell rang, and I felt really good going into this fight. I felt like I had trained and prepared, and we went into it, and the guy was just a couple of inches, his, his arms were a couple of inches longer than mine, and he caught me first, and I wasn't expecting him to hit me so hard so fast. And I'll be honest, for the next minute and a half, two minutes, three minutes almost, basically into the second round, I, don't, I have no recollection of anything that happened. I remember that I managed to not get knocked out, which was very good, um, but it, it wasn't until the, halfway through the second round that I, even, that I even started to put anything into place. But I think the important thing to realize is not that you're going to do everything right the first time. Like in business, I, I haven't done everything right the first time at all, but rather, how are you going to recover from setbacks? So if I spend an entire round getting punched in the face, what am I going to do in the second round? Am I going to keep getting punched? And your ability to make those decisions and, and under pressure perform is directly proportional to the amount of energy and effort you put into training. Because training is all you have. You have to train your body to be ready for those types of situations and know how to respond. Because if not, you're just going to walk in, you're going to try and think, and by the time you've come up with a thought, the fight is over and you've lost. Now, I ended up losing that fight, but the next two fights, I learned from what happened in that fight. Now, I didn't get knocked out, but I learned from what happened in those two fights, and I won my next two fights. And I think that's the important parallel. I, in my business, I know that I've run into this all the time. I don't prepare, I didn't, until probably two or three months ago, I didn't prepare anything in business. I would just show up and do some things, and people wanted to pay me some money, and so I would do it. But then I run into the situation of a serious financial crisis, which is akin to just getting knocked down in a fight. And now I gotta make a decision. Am I gonna get up? Am I gonna win this fight? Am I gonna take it back? Am I gonna outperform this guy uh, from here on? Or am I gonna sit back and am I gonna complain and, I'm gonna, and am I gonna just say, well, I can't do anything now because I don't have any, I don't have any control over what's happening. The, the training and the preparation that you put in for situations when things go bad, that's what being an entrepreneur is all about. Being very in the moment and trying to wing it all the time and trying to plan ahead for some of those situations, I have found that not only am I able to perform better in those situations, but I'm actually have a better, a more solid foundation in general. Right now is the time to prepare. You're gonna have days like I had this week on Monday where you wake up and you think, I can't do this. There's no way, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. I, 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 I honestly woke up on Monday morning and was so overwhelmed and stressed that I legitimately considered packing a bag, moving to Paraguay, finding some little village, and living off the land. That's the amount of stress and the overwhelm that comes, and it's those moments that you have to prepare for. That's what the training is for. That's why you do all the work leading up to it. I mean, and the, the thing that's annoying about it is that training is not always fun. It's not always sexy. It's not always the thing that you want to be doing. Sometimes it's road work. My least favorite part about training for a fight is the road work. But if you don't do the road work, you pay for it in the fight. So even though you want to wake up and you want to have control over your day and you want to do the things that you love and you love, like I love Muay Thai. I hate running. But if I'm going to fight, I have to do some things that I don't like, period. That's what the training is. And you know, some of the training that I have been put through that has get, put me in the best shape and actually got, given me the ability to win fights in a, in a fairly spectacular fashion have been grueling, hellish training camps where twice a week, three times a week, I'm going through some of the worst physical pain from cardiovascular conditioning to weightlifting to uh, sparring, all of these different things, even to pad rounds with my trainer. Putting myself through the worst possible situation that I can so that when, I, when the actual pr situation presents itself, it can't be anything near 
like what I've already been through. And that I think is the parallel. I think in, in business, as I've started to make a shift from just sort of winging it and doing whatever I want to do every day to calculated training preparation for what's coming, it makes all the difference. Winners train for war. Losers don't even know that there is a war.